I was on board April the 20th of 2010 whenever the unfortunate tragedy of the rig explosion happened. We had a lot of, a lot of really good guys perish that night. That's Caleb Holloway, an oil rig worker who survived the Deepwater Horizon accident, arguably one of the worst man-made catastrophes in history. The massive offshore explosion caused by a blowout destroyed the rig itself, causing a fire that burned for 36 hours. But that wasn't nearly the end of it. For the next 87 days, oil leaked into the Gulf, leading to widespread pollution that's still a problem today. At 8 p.m. on April 20th, 2010, the Macondo well below Deepwater Horizon was deemed stable. The drilling crew was toward the end of the 21-day hitch, shortly to return home to shore. But as night fell, the unthinkable happened. Explosions tore Horizon apart. The rig turned into an inferno. Many jumped overboard half-coated in oil as they tried to flee to safety. We did everything we could to to get as many people off of there as we could and to try to salvage what we could on the rig. Somehow Caleb survived that day, but 11 of his teammates didn't make it out alive. Whenever it finally sunk in that the 11 guys that were missing, were they were all the guys from the drill crew and, and it was very, very hard for me to accept. I was not ready to give up. I wanted to go back out there and search some more. The events that occurred that day haunted Caleb long after the catastrophe. I was on a downward spiral. I did not get any better every day than I would think about it. I was a mess for probably six months to a year. Just didn't even know what I wanted to do, where I wanted to go with my career. I wanted to go back out to the rig, but I knew mentally I couldn't. I missed the rig. I missed the brotherhood that we had out there. And Caleb wasn't able to go back to life on the rig but he says that his experience has prepared him for the next chapter in life. He's now a firefighter in his hometown of Nacogdoches, Texas. I think the Horizon tragedy kind of prepared me for some of the stuff that I'm faced with today. We have that fight or flight. You can either run away or you can run and help. And I knew I had that in me to go and help. It gave me the confidence to be able to face the challenges I face today or we face in the fire industry. Because when everybody else is running away, we're running in. And uh, that's just something I'm extremely proud to be able to do and try to impact people's lives by helping. In the wake of a tragedy like this, many would choose to sit on the sidelines and tap out from life. But instead of running away from his fears, Caleb chose to run towards them. As a firefighter, he routinely risks his life to help others. Since the disaster, he made one courageous decision after another. And as a result, these decisions may come to define him. It's been such a blessing to be able to overcome the tragedy that happened and to be in the place that I'm at now. This episode is made possible by the movie Deepwater Horizon, based on the true story of some of the rig workers, including Caleb's. In theaters, September 30th. If you want one more story, check out this episode about women in Afghanistan and their life behind the burqa. In the 1960s and early 70s, Afghanistan was often viewed as more progressive than neighboring countries when it came to women's rights. Back then, women were able to pursue an education, get a job, and even vote. But when Islamic fundamentalist group the Taliban seized control of the country in the mid-90s, everything changed. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more videos.